When you become a driver, your whole point of view changes. New responsibilities, new things to think about. One of the most important might surprise you. I signed up for driver training this year when I started going to university. I live with my parents, but come into school every day. And I have a part-time job too. So I thought it would be good to get my license. The most important thing for me is learning to be a safe driver. But tonight in class, we talked about something different. How being a good driver is actually good for the environment. I'd never really thought about that before. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night, Michelle. Good night. I think it's great that you're teaching this, the environmental impact of driving. It's something everyone should be concerned about. Cars and trucks are huge producers of carbon dioxide, which is one of the main greenhouse gases that contribute to climate change. And I don't want to be part of that problem. Like I know in the summer the air gets bad around here. You get these smog warnings and whatever. People got to stay inside. But I don't see any crazy floods happening or anything. It's hard to worry about stuff like that. Anyway, if you've been here in the winter, you probably won't think it's a bad thing for it to warm up a little. Learning how to drive safely. That's pretty much why everybody takes driver's ed. But to be a responsible driver, I think you have to know the full effect you're having, not only on the road, but also on the world. Every person's actions make a difference. Some people just don't get it. It can be hard to wrap your head around. The numbers are amazing when you think about them. Every liter of gas that gets burned in a car engine creates about two and a half kilograms of carbon dioxide. Multiply that by 17 million vehicles in Canada alone, each one with a gas tank that holds at least 30 liters at a time, and that's a lot of pollution. And people in Canada drive so much, something like more than 200 billion kilometers every year. That's like 1,000 trips to the sun and back. Here's how greenhouse gases affect us. They trap heat near the surface of the earth which makes the temperatures go up. The effects can cause floods or droughts. Crops and other plants can be damaged. Water supply can be affected. What if we started to run out of water in the future? No, think about it. Okay, well, that's it for tonight. See you all next week. What's good is that people are starting to understand how serious the problem is and they're doing things about it. Coming out with alternative fuels, like ethanol, which is made partly from plant products. It's not all gasoline. It burns cleaner, and that means it generates less greenhouse gases. They're also coming out with different types of engines, hybrids that run on electricity as well as gas. So people have choices that can help make the air cleaner and the environment better. I know some people think that because cars are more fuel efficient today than in the past, and because you can buy cleaner fuels at the gas pump, they don't need to worry so much about how they drive. But that's, it's wrong thinking, because actually these days people are driving more often and for longer distances than ever before, and in heavier traffic. Low speeds, lots of stops and starts, conditions where engines can't work to maximum fuel efficiency. So we're still creating a lot of pollution. But we can change that if we change our driving behavior. Like not running your engine when you don't need to, making sure your tires are properly inflated, getting your car serviced when you're supposed to, 
no jackrabbit starts, not speeding, and not driving when you don't have to. Climate change is a serious problem, but at least there are things we can do about it.